Rhaegal flies with his mother's army to Winterfell. He and Drogon pass over the winter town and the castle, shocking and amazing the northerners. Rhaegal and Drogon are both affected by the north's cold and are not eating as much as they normally would. When Daenerys prepares to take them for a flight, possibly as a way to give him exercise and shake off the cold, she invites Jon Snow to ride Rhaegal. Rhaegal takes off with a semi-reluctant Jon. Jon has trouble hanging on and nearly falls a few times, especially as Rhaegal follows Drogon through icy ravines and mountainous sheer drops. Eventually, wanting to land, Rhaegal obeys his command when he turns towards a waterfall. When they do stop, Jon and Daenerys have a little private time by the waterfall to cuddle and kiss. Though, while kissing, both of the dragons stare intently at Daenerys and Jon. During the Battle of Winterfell, Jon and Daenerys, mounted on Rhaegal and Drogon respectively, provide air support for their ground forces and fight the Night King in the sky above Winterfell. Rhaegal ferociously attacks his undead brother, biting his neck and tearing chunks of rotting flesh from his belly while trying to stay in the air. Viserion fights back and wounds Rhaegal in the belly as well, but the Elder Dragon retaliates by biting off part of Viserion's neck and lower jaw, exposing the blue flames in his brother's throat. When Drogon comes to his aid by dropping on Viserion from above, Rhaegal retreats, wounded and exhausted, crashing into the snow and falling unconscious. Jon is thrown off of Rhaegal in the process and is forced to leave him to rejoin the battle. Still recovering from the battle, he is visited by his mother in the very den she and Jon came to find them before they rode the two dragons together. Despite the tears in his wings, Rhaegal manages to take to the air, if not gracefully. On the ramparts of Winterfell, Sansa Stark watches Rhaegal and Drogon fly away before telling Tyrion the truth about Jon. Off the coast of Dragonstone, Daenerys mounted on Drogon watches Rhaegal flying nearby, pleased to see him recovering. Suddenly, a colossal scorpion bolt strikes Rhaegal in the chest, followed by another to his wing. The dragon's screams of agony are silenced when a third bolt pierces his neck, causing massive blood loss. Fatally wounded, Rhaegal plummets from the sky in a torrent of blood, crashing into the sea below and sinking. As Daenerys watches another of her children die, Euron Greyjoy appears, with scorpions mounted on all of his ships. Consumed by grief over the loss of Rhaegal along with Viserion, Jorah, and Masande, Daenerys gives into her rage and burns the majority of King's Landing. 